Welcome back to another video guys. Today I wanted to take an in-depth look at God of War Ragnarok on the RX 6800 XT paired with a Ryzen 5900X CPU and we're going to focus on 1440p and 4K as well. We'll check out native resolution, optimized settings, FSR, frame generation, all that fun stuff. So without further ado, let's begin with native 4K and the ultra graphical preset. Just to issue a quick disclaimer before we begin, guys, if you look at my CPU on the statistics, it says Ryzen 3700X. I'm not using a 3700X, I'm actually using my Ryzen 5900X, which you can see in the clocks that it's hitting and power it's consuming. I was doing some testing with the 3700X on this computer and forgot to change it on the Riva Tuna statistics server. It's just a label, you can type whatever you want in there, but it is a Ryzen 5900X. Let's continue. I'd like to begin here in the Elven Realm of Alfheim, check out a little bit of combat, but we're also going to check out another area in Svartalheim because Svartalheim is regarded as one of the more demanding areas in the game, but this area here is actually pretty demanding as well as you're going to get to see. Uh, but I wanted to present both scenarios because yes, Svartalheim is the most demanding area in the game, but it's also not the type of areas that are the most common in the game, right? I think this is kind of a good in-between type of uh, uh, presentation because there's also areas that are less demanding in the game, right? But as you can see here at uh, native 4K with the ultra graphical preset, it is a bit much for the 6800 XD in this particular case. We're pretty close to 60, but we're not able to really maintain it. Uh, but let's go ahead and swap over to Svartalheim and uh, see what happens there. Speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey, we're back in the wetlands. Well, as you guys can see here in Svartalheim, in this particular area anyway, we dropped into the mid to high 40s with a 6800 XT at native 4K ultra graphical preset. So while it will be able to deliver close to a 60 FPS experience, and sometimes even above that in a lot of cases, there will be some areas that it'll drop a bit below that. But before we use FSR uh, super resolution or frame generation, what I wanted to try is use the optimized settings from Benchmark King's video. I'll leave a link to his video down below and I'll put up the graphical settings on screen. He came up with two presets. And it's a very good video, I suggest checking it out. The, it's an optimized quality preset and an optimized performance uh, preset. We're gonna use the optimized performance and see uh, see what happens. So let's check it out. Let's go back to Alfheim and change it to the performance optimized settings here. Now, whereas previously we were able to stay fairly close to 60 FPS, as a matter of fact, we did average 59 FPS exactly after a few minutes of gameplay in this area. Right now we're averaging 74 FPS with 63 FPS and 1% lows. So this is much, much better. The reason why I think using these settings is a good idea is because the game still looks really, really nice. And uh, there's people out there that don't want to use upscaling or frame generation. And if you had a 6800 XT and like to play at 4K, well, I think this would be the way to do it. Uh, you're well uh, at 60 FPS uh, in this particular area anyway. But uh, what about Svartalheim? Well, in Svartalheim, we dropped to 60 FPS. Unsurprisingly, this is the more demanding area. But hey, previously we were at 46 FPS and with Benchmark King's optimized settings, well, we can now stay pretty dang close to 60, right? But I think this presents a good opportunity to check out uh, FSR frame generation because FSR frame generation works really well here. And pardon me, I forgot to reset my frame rate counter, but we're getting 90 FPS with FSR frame generation. When I make these videos, I normally use my LG OLED TV. It's a 48 inch sitting on my desk so I can uh, see and tell you exactly what I see. And uh, what I see is actually the game looks fantastic. It looks like we're getting 90 fps it's very fluid i don't i don't see any artifacting or anything like that now from a responsiveness perspective it feels like we were getting 60 fps it feels like a 60 fps gameplay as far as controls but visually it looks like uh, 90 fps and you'd be surprised how much that can kind of trick your brain and it does in many ways 
feel and look like a high refresh rate experience. So a pretty good jump, guys. We were previously getting 46 FPS at native 4K with the ultra graphical preset and with the benchmark king's optimized settings and FSR frame generation, we more or less doubled that frame rate, right? So that that's pretty good at uh, barely noticeable visual quality loss, right? <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at FSR quality this time around. So what we're going to do is we're going to disable FSR frame generation and throw FSR quality and jump back to the Alfheim temple. Check out some combat. Well, here we are, guys. 4K optimized settings with FSR quality. We're pretty close to 100 FPS now. So that's a pretty nice improvement uh, with FSR quality. And FSR actually looks really good in this game, um, especially at 4K. It looks really, really nice. As a matter of fact, I even took a look at FSR balance in a previous video. And I even had it side by side to DLSS balance, actually. And while DLSS was able to do a bit of a better job uh, reconstructing the more finer detail, FSR actually does a really, really good job. Uh, the only problem that I noticed, and this is a problem with DLSS as well, by the way, is on water reflections that can be a bit of shimmering. But that even happens at native resolution, so I'm not going to blame uh, FSR or DLSS or anything like that. But I just want to say that FSR quality at 4K looks really, really good in this game, as you can clearly see. And we're able to stay at 100 FPS. But anyway, why don't we go ahead and throw FSR frame generation on top of FSR quality and go back to Svartalheim. And will you look at that? Well, now we're above 120 FPS and we're in Svartalheim, which is <laughs> the more demanding area in the game. So pretty good job overall. So again, you have a ton of options, right? We were in the same area previously at native 4K with the ultra graphical preset at 45 FPS. And now we're all the way up to 120 after some adjustments and FSR quality and frame generation. So you have a massive range of options you can use to tweak your performance to whatever you want, whether it be you want to go with native 4K, no FSR quality or frame generation. Well, it's your choice. And that's kind of the point of this video to show you guys all these choices. So I think this is going to be it for the 4K part of this video. We're going to take a look at 1440p and that we're going to have a lot more options with 1440p, obviously, because it's uh, a lot less demanding. Well, here we go, guys. 1440p. We're going to begin at native resolution with the ultra graphical preset and start in Alfheim. Well, guys, 1440p ultra graphical preset. We're having a pretty good uh, high refresh rate experience. Averaging 96 FPS with 74 FPS 1% lows. We have really, really nice frame time, really nice 1% lows. The game feels extremely smooth to play. Uh, very nice. They did a great job with uh, with this port. For the most part, it's had some issues. Like DLSS frame generation wasn't working in the beginning. Um, and there's been some other issues with DLSS frame generation. But that does not impact the 6800 XT in this particular case. This feels excellent to play. But then again, this is Alfheim. Uh, what about Svartalheim? Uh, let's go ahead and jump into Svartalheim. And then we can check out some frame generation and see how that feels. But this feels great. 100 FPS, baby. Well, Svartalheim, we drop back down to 60. So this is the, the, the worst case scenario, I suppose. But uh, let's go ahead and throw a frame generation. We're still in a very good position here to toggle on frame generation. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey, we're back in the wetland. Watch out! No. Well, with frame generation, we go way up from 60 all the way to uh, 120, 130, I guess. So, yeah, it looks fantastic. I'm able to max out my display's refresh rate, which is great. And again, it looks great, too. I don't really notice any artifacting or anything like that. Now, if we put it under a microscope, which I have done in previous videos, I'm not going to do that here because it's not really the focus. Uh, but it, it still looks great at uh, 1440p 
with frame generation. But hey, if you guys notice anything that looks out of the ordinary, leave a comment down below and let me know. Because I, I really don't notice anything that stands out to me, other than the game looks a lot more fluid than 60 FPS. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at FSR quality now. We're going to turn frame generation off and go back to Alfheim. Oh, Should be doing pretty good here. We mean you no harm. And uh, yeah, 113 FPS. So it looks like we could be um, CPU bound here because GPU utilization has dropped to below 100. So really, uh, we don't really stand to gain all that much because we're already getting close to 100 FPS here anyway at 1440p Ultra. <laughs> so dropping FSR quality really, it just causes us to become uh, CPU bound. So really the only solution to that would be to throw frame generation on top. Uh, obviously we would probably see a benefit to our frame rate if we travel to Svartalheim. So let's take a quick look at Svartalheim and then turn frame generation on and uh, we should see a pretty nice bump over there. All right, so with FSR to set to quality, we actually go from 60 FPS in Svartalheim without it to 75 FPS with uh, FSR quality. So a pretty decent jump. But what if we throw a frame generation on top of uh, FSR quality? We should be getting a pretty nice bump. I, I, we should be close to 100. Yeah, we, we go pretty, we go beyond 120 FPS. Absolutely. Actually looks great here too. So yeah, I mean, 1440p, you have so many options to choose from. You can maintain your ultra graphical preset and uh, and then some, right? And stay at uh, at 60. Although in Svartalheim, even at 1440p with the ultra graphical preset, you can actually drop a tiny bit below 60 in some cases. But I would say for the most part, it is a 60 FPS experience with the 6800 XT. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I was gonna test the optimized settings at 1440p, but we're probably gonna hit uh, CPU limitations, so I'm not gonna bother. We, we get the overall idea. 6800 XT does a really good job. You can play at 4K with some settings tweaks without using FSR. And at 1440p, you can go all native, ultra graphical preset, no problem. You'll be able to have a 60 FPS experience at the very least. But anyway, give the video a like if you liked it, consider subscribing, and thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.